So we have finally made it through the month of the month, the month of March. And I have all of my empties that I have collected. I went through a lot more products this month than I thought that I did. So everything that I have is in this H&M bag right here. And y'all, we found some gems this month. So let's just go ahead and just get straight into the video. Okay, so first off, just out of, off the top, y'all know how these videos go. Uh, I'm not going in any particular order at all. So um, right off the top, I see that I have finished a Glade um, room spray or air freshener. And this is in Cotton Cloud Dream. I picked this up from Dollar Tree and this smells really, really good. Um, it has notes of airy clouds and cotton. And I really thought the packaging was really, really cute. And it did smell really fresh and clean. And I like these types of scents in, like in my bedding. And um, I'll just like spray my bed when I make it. And I also use these types of scents in the bathroom as well. Next up, I got some Summer's Eve Simply Sensitive Cleansing Wash. I mean... No need to go into great detail um, here. I know some people don't like to use feminine washes. Me, I do. I have zero problems with them. This is one that I always um, purchase. The scent may change or whatever, but I don't have any issues with using feminine wash. So that's that. And I have two mouth washes in here. Um, I don't go through these alone. Me and hubby usually, um, we share whatever mouthwashes in the bathroom. Um, the first one is the Listerine Total Care. This is the purple one. And I actually got just a little sweet left in that one, but whatever. And then the, uh, blue one is the Walmart brand and it is the Blue Mint. So yeah, went through those and those are always a repurchase. I have another one <laughs> already going right now in my bathroom. And I just finished this last night. Me and the girls actually finished this. This is a mini travel size of the Honey Wildflower uh, body cream. Honey Wildflower smells good. I love Honey Wildflower. Um, I had the big um, body cream of this and the little travel size in my purse. And like I said, I love the scent. I probably won't repurchase it because I think I'm just kind of over the scent now. Like I've been using it for so so long now <laughs> um i remember when i hauled this on my channel so i'm glad to finally be done with honey wildflower but it is a really good scent it's actually a scent that would be perfect for the springtime but hey i'm i'm done <laughs> with it at this point um i also have a toothpaste in here this is the colgate optic white i picked these up from dollar tree this is my favorite toothpaste I have like three in the bathroom <laughs> as backup and I'm using one totally. So I love this Colgate Optic White toothpaste. Um, next up, this body wash is from Walgreens. This is their Walgreens brand. This is in Mango Mandarin. Um, I actually did not use this. My kids used it. Um, they really did enjoy this and this did smell good and it sewed up really, really good. So this was perfect for them. They're um, 10 and eight and four. <laughs> so um, I don't really let them use a lot of Bath and Body Works. They do have a little small collection of like, you know, little body creams and body mist, but I just don't let them use a whole lot of scented stuff. But as they're getting older, they want to use more scented stuff because they see me using it. So um, yeah, my daughter picked this up from Walgreens and really cheap like two dollar body wash it was good enough and then i have the dial silk of mag silk and magnolia moisturizing body wash this smelled really really good it was pink and it smelled like like just a very fresh floral type of scent this would be another good scent also for spring so, um, I would repurchase this. Like I said, I did enjoy the scent. It was a scent that really, like, smelled up the whole bathroom when I used it. It kind of lingered a little bit on my skin. And I do like that in a body wash. I like for it to 
really have a strong scent to it. Next up, I'm sad to see this go, but this is one of my favorite scents. And this is Bath & Body Works Pink Velvet Cupcake. It is all finished up. This is the shower gel. And um, I do still have the body cream and the body mist. So I'm not completely out, but the shower gel is all used up. The next shower gel that I used up, this is Winter Candy Apple. And I finished this, I think last month. Um, but it was a scent that I used throughout the winter. I really love Winter Candy Apple. The scent notes are Candy Red Apple, Winter Rose Petals, Candied Orange, Maple Leaf, and Fresh Cinnamon. Oh, I just love Winter Candy Apple. So this would definitely be a repurchase uh, when it comes back out because it usually comes back every year. So I'm definitely going to be getting another one because I love that in the winter. Next up, I have a hand soap. I picked this up from Dollar Tree. This is the Tom's Prebiotic Natural Moisturizing Hand Soap. And this one is in the scent Fresh Apple. This was a really good um, hand wash. It was thick and creamy. It lathered up really, really good for a dollar. Well, a dollar twenty-five now. Um, I think it's a really good um hand soap. Would I repurchase it? Probably not, because when it comes to hand soaps, I don't care. I I just want my hands clean, okay? But um I have a purple one now that's like a lavender scent. So yeah. Okay, next up I have a cocoa butter. Yeah, just the cocoa butter. This is the jar one. Um, I love cocoa butter. I have dry skin in the winter. So this got me through those winter cold months, okay? And I use this directly out of the shower. I use it on my chest area, my arms, my legs, especially my feet. Um, I would rub my feet really, really good and put on some thick, fuzzy socks. And y'all, I swear by cocoa butter. This is the Palmer's brand. Um, if you have rough, dry skin, I highly recommend get you some cocoa butter, okay? I use this on the kids, too. On them little faces in the morning. I also use this on my face, too, at night. Um, once I did my skincare routine, I would take just a little bit of this and really moisturize my face. Because, like I said, in the cold months, my skin gets really dry. And my face gets, like, these dry patches, like, right in here. So, this has been really, really good for that. This right here is actually um, a body cream. Sorry. This is a body cream that my husband used up. And this is the Bourbon um, Men's Collection from Bath & Body Works. This smells really, really good. This smells like a cologne, like an expensive cologne type of scent. I love this scent on him. It's so warm. Um, fragrance notes, white pepper, dark amber, and Kentucky. Oh, it definitely has like that dark amber type of scent, but I can definitely tell it has the spiciness of that white pepper. So this was a really, really good scent. I love that on him. Um, next up in here, another body cream that I used up is Papaya Paradise Cove. I love this scent. This was such a good, good scent. I wish I had gotten two of these. I picked this up last year, semi my annual sale. Um, the scent notes, fresh papaya, star fruit water, honeysuckle, passion flower, and amber. This right here, it is such a nice, just fruity, fresh fruity scent, if that makes sense. Um, when you first smell it, it does, I don't really get a whole lot of like the floral in this, but I definitely get like that fresh papaya and the star fruit water, whatever star fruit water smells like, I can't even say it. Um, you definitely can smell that in here. It's just like I said, it's like a fresh, juicy, sweet, like papaya. It's, it's really good. I hope they bring that back to my angle set. I'm definitely going to get another one, and I'm going to get the whole set if I can. Um, next up, some secret deodorant. No biggie. I always go through these every single month. I pick these up from Dollar Tree. This is the, powder, the baby powder scent. 
one of my favorites. Um, next up, I have this little mini Vaseline all-purpose cream. This came from the Dollar Tree. This was good to keep in my purse. For I used it as like a hand cream. It was really thick, creamy, and very moisturizing. Really enjoyed that. I have one wax milk um, container in here. This one is in Wonderland. Wonderland smells amazing. This is what I am using in my scent warmers right now. And it is berry, apple, and peonies. Oh, it is so good. My whole house just smells like this. It smells so good. So I went through more wax empties than that, but that's the only one that I have in here. Next up, I have a hair product. This is the, I don't know how to pronounce this brand, Sropus, I don't know. But this is the Smooth and Shine um, Black Seed Oil and Coconut Oil Hydrating Setting Mist. Finally used it up. I have had this in my hair bin for a long time, okay? Probably at least over a year, probably two years. But this is good for like... Um, rod sets, roller sets, twist outs, or just smoothing your hair back um, in like a bun and, you know, just tie your edges down. This is really good for that. And it did not dry my hair out. It was super cheap, like five, it's $5.79 at the beauty supply store, so. Next up, I have been put on to this candle right here from Bath & Body Works, and this is the Lakeside Morning. So the last, um, Maybe not the last sale that they had, but a couple of weeks ago, they had a sale on their candles and I was trying to decide on candles and the sales lady in the store recommended Lakeside Morning. She was just raving about it. She was like, it's so good if you've never tried it. And um, I, I smelt it at first and I was like, okay, I don't know, but I'm going to take your word for it and I'm going to go home and burn it. Y'all, this smells amazing. This is crisp air, driftwood, and fresh green apple, y'all. And I love anything with apple in it. That goes for like body care, home fragrance, anything with like apple in it. I don't know, I'm just drawn to it. But this burns so good. Now I did get, you know, a little around the edges, but this, and you still can smell it. It smells absolutely amazing. I love to burn this in the living room and it would just scent up my whole house with this and i'm definitely <laughs> about to go and repurchase this exact scent lakeside morning y'all if you don't have it get it okay it's really really good it's very fresh very clean and fruity next up i finished this off last night this is a retinol beauty spa anti-aging night cream i pick these up from tj maxx all the time um i just need just some moisturizer <laughs> to go on my face these are usually no more than like five or six dollars really really good um this one like i said it was really good it's really moisturizing i did put this on and then i would use my cocoa butter on top of it and it was a really good combination it kept my skin really really soft and I enjoyed this. So I may reuse this container for something. I don't know. Next up, I have a de another deodorant. This is the Avon Skin So Soft. And y'all, uh, my mom was just raving about these Avon deodorants. Um, we go to the local flea market here and there's always an Avon um, representative there. And she was selling these Avon deodorants for $1. So my mom was getting like 10 of them. And I'm like, are they that good? And she talked me into getting two. And y'all, I'm not impressed. <laughs> um, I just, it's a roll-on deodorant. And I'm not a big fan of like roll-on deodorants. I don't like anything wet under my arms. So, you know, you gotta put it on, it's wet. And then you gotta kind of wait for it to dry. And no, I am a, <laughs> I'm not a roll on girl. I am a stick deodorant type of girl. So these were a no for me. I have one more in my bathroom that I'm trying to use up. So I'm using it at night, but will not be repurchasing that. And I also went through the Victoria's Secret Honey Wash and the Honey Scrub. 
love these two products um honey this is the honey and shea butter nourishing gel body wash and this is the honey and sugar nourishing body scrubs these smell amazing they work really really good they the body wash lathers really beautifully um i also use this as a bubble bath um and i loved it i love the scent of it it left my skin soft it smells just like honey and like shea butter it is really really good and the scrub was really good as well so these i would definitely repurchase these i think um yeah christmas my husband got these for me for christmas and yeah i definitely want to try out the body lotion to this line so the next time i'm in victoria's secret i do plan on picking up the body lotion because if it's anything like the honey wash in the scrub i know i'm going to love it and last but not least i know this has been a long video but yeah i went through so many products this month and that is y'all are probably gonna be surprised because i don't think i have ever finished a perfume before i'm sure i have not but <laughs> i have finished up the victoria's secret tease dreamer um this perfume has been in my collection for probably about three to four years it's, it's been a while i would use it for a little bit then i would stop go use something else then i would kind of pick it up like that so i made it my mission this month to really dive in and start using this perfume and i kind of fell in love with it all over again um but it's not a scent that i would repurchase and here's why it is not long lasting it is not a strong scent it's actually kind of sweet it's um it's hard to explain now it does give like this tropical vibe to it but it's really really light like you have to spray a whole 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 lot in order for you to smell it and then after about two hours or an hour and a half i did not smell this at all so i, I was like you know what i'm just gonna go ahead and use it up so it doesn't go to waste but i would not repurchase um tea's dreamer like i said it did smell good but it's not something that i'm like oh my god it's the best i gotta have it no so yeah that is it that is all y'all that was a lot of products i didn't even realize i went through so much but i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure that you give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed and turn on that notification bell so that you never miss another upload from your girl and i definitely see you all in my next video y'all be safe out there and be blessed bye